Uh, what I might as well do now is the Battle Rock Galaxy's uh, Daredevil comment. I'll show you what the Daredevil comments are right here, right now. So, yeah, here it comes. Warning, Daredevil comment in orbit. So and you're only able to select one card here, Top Maniac's Daredevil run. Um, I don't know why I'm showing this now. I, I don't know, I just feel like it. Oh, well, anyway, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Forgot to say that. So, yeah, this is the Daredevil run. Um, in Daredevil runs, you only get one hit. Yes, only one hit. You've got only one life. See that at the, up, see that at the upper right corner? That's the gimmick of these Daredevil runs here. Um, you, you don't have any opportunities to get life or anything like that, so just go straight over to the boss here and just beat it without taking a hit. And I already did that, so that shouldn't be much of a problem, now will it? And come on, Top Maniac, let's do this! Top! One hit! <laughs> you are a pathetic boss, Top Maniac. I am sorry. Oh, no, oh, no, no, it's not the springy little dudes. Oh, oh, you're going down. Now bigger guys will pop out of there, and then you just pop on him once again. Those, those, uh, spikes don't even get in your way, and why the heck did he not take a hit from the electrical field there? That is so weird, he's not taking a hit from the electrical field. Well, whatever. There's a star. trumpet music, or at least I think it's a trumpet. Alright, that does it for all the stars I can get in these galaxies for now, uh, except for those secret stars, which I'll be doing later, but for now I'm going to be going to this galaxy. Oh no! It's Bowser's Star Reactor! Woo! Let's do it to it! Dang those Saturday AM references. The Fiery Stronghold. I believe there's only one star here, so this will be the only time we'll ever see this. Aww. But it is a very fun one. I do like these Bowser stages a lot. It definitely gives you an idea of what the castles would be if they were, um, uh, in three, or I should say, uh, super gravity areas, whatever, in, in, like in Super Mario 64. I don't know what to, what to call it. I'm just thinking of Super Mario 64 because of the music. Listen! Yeah, we're rocking the Mario 64 here. There's a one up there. It's just right in the middle of right in the middle of your path, so I don't see why you wouldn't want to get it. It doesn't really waste that much time to get it, unless you're speedrunning the sucker or something. Um, and then there's a thwomp here. Try not to get squished by thwomps. Thwomps, they kill you in one hit at the end in this game, so um, I'm just saying there. Um, as you can see, you can tell where the gravity is. Don't let yourself hit that blue part of the gravity there, otherwise you'll fall into that black hole down there. Um, so what you want to do is wait here and land on that platform, and wait for it, jump up to the next gravitational area, avoid this flomp here, just be careful, and you should flip around when you touch this thing, nice and safely, and walk along this edge here, jump your way around, grab that one up if you, if you so desire. Man, this game gives away lives like candy, but not as much as the sequel does. Good lord, I had like 50 lives the first day I played that game. But it's an awesome game, might I add. And, you could, yeah, you can go underneath some of these, just saying, Oh no! Who is this? It is Bowser! He looks ticked! Oh my god! He's blowing up the world and then some! You can get this mushroom if you want to, it's a star mushroom! Oh my goodness, it's gonna fall apart! Run out! Go, Mario, go! Go, Mario, go! Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, he's firing balls all over the place! Uh, if you stay near the back edge of those platforms, those balls won't hit you, those meteors, whatever you want to call it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> you finally made it! Okay, that was like the worst... Well, I guess that wasn't that bad of a Bowser impression. Oh no! Don't stop me at the star bits, I'll have to collect myself then! You know how addicted I am to star bits. Alright, to beat Bowser, all you have to do is get him to jump onto these blue glass orbs here. Um, uh, and you also have to avoid those, um, glass things, I mean those, uh, not glass things, those lasers, um, whatever you want to call them, I don't know what to call them, they're like orbiting laser beams or something, um, let them jump onto one of these uh, blue things here, Ugh! come on, fall out, and then lava will appear inside it, 
and the music will get super epic, and then you have to hit him from behind, and then spin at him once again. You just have to aim for his red tail. Woo! My god, the music is epic! Just listen to this music. I recommend that you search for like the soundtrack of this game or something like that. And just just have just have a nice listen to the soundtrack. Just so you can hear how amazing this soundtrack is. Oh no, he's in trouble and he knows it. Now he's gonna go faster and orbit around the planet. So meet him around the other side and try to spin at him. Um, if you can. Uh, there we go. One more hit to go, and Bowser is finished. Now he's gonna get really ticked off and start spewing fire all over the place at high speeds. Oh my goodness, and those fires orbit the planet, by the way, in case you didn't notice that. And he's also gonna make more of those laser things appear. Yes, they do hurt, in case you didn't notice. Come on, baby, jump in, jump over here. No, don't make more lasers appear. Stop firing your lasers! Come on, hey, I know you know where I am. Jump up. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Feel the burn, Bowser. Feel the burn. Flip around. Feel the pain, Bowser. Feel the pain. You should flip around. And that's the end. Wait, no, wait. One more time. Excuse me. I forgot there was two more shots. I should say an extra hit for that last one. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bowser. No, I'm not. What? Ow. Oh. Bowser types in all caps. He shouts. Foolish Mario, my plan is too far along now. You really think you can stop me? Um, yeah, I beat this game before. <laughs> Shouldn't that be in all caps? I would think that a, a, an evil laugh should be in all caps. Well, anyway, the next grand star is mine. It appears from the center of this planet, uh, the planet up there or whatever, and appears right next to me. So collect your grand star and be a happy plumber. I gotta stop saying Captain Plumber, I gotta say that. I've overused that too much. Then again, overusing it too much is the same thing, so what am I talking about? <laughs> and I should be going back to the observatory here to unlock the next area. That uh, next uh, blackish area off to the right there will become visible now. And that will turn into a bright green star. It's actually more of like a green with a slight bluish hue. And that will illuminate that part, and I make a path appear to the kitchen. Yes, that's the kitchen. 22 stars so far. Whew. A new galaxy has been discovered. Actually, three of them in the kitchen. So let's talk to Rosalina here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, another stone. Oh. Uh, oh no, not enough star power. I gotta get you more stars so we can go to the bedroom. And, yeah. I hope the observatory will be able to go there and I can have a three cell. I, I mean, never mind, never mind. Um, I'd like to show you here real quick what, what extra life I was talking about before, um, which is way over here. Uh, if you go all the way over to the kitchen, which is at, at this direction right here, and go around um, counterclockwise along the base here, there's an extra life. This is where I thought that extra life was back when I showed behind the fountain. I don't know why I thought it was over there. I, I, just, I, I just had a brain fart at that time. Well, anyway, let's go to the kitchen. I feel like doing some more right now, so let's go right to the kitchen. Let's see if there's any intro. I don't think there's going to be an intro over here. So let's just click Zors ourselves through here and uh, unlock some uh, galaxies. The first galaxy to unlock is the Beach Ball Galaxy. And uh, I think I'm going to be starting that in the next part, or at least I think that's how it's going to be with the timestamps. So I'll see you guys later. I, at least I think that's how it's going to be. If not, I'll be going right to the Beach Ball Galaxy. Okay, toodaloo!